Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. In today's video, we're going to be making a Leaky Cauldron menu, and this was actually a request from the Headmaster over on Patreon. It's always fun, the things that he comes up with, and then the Headmistress before him, the stuff that she came up with, it's always really imaginative stuff, and I really like it. So anyways, this time we're doing the Leaky Cauldron menu, and while I was making this, I actually looked up the actual recipes and things and, and meals and stuff that they serve at the uh, Universal Studios. Um, Leaky Cauldron, and I took the prices that they had posted there, and I... Uh, converted it into wizard money from Harry Potter so you could actually probably take this menu with you to uh, Universal Studios and actually order from this menu and as long as you can uh, calculate that back to US dollars you'd be able to use this menu to order your food. Go ahead and check out the description box below for a list of supplies you're gonna need as well as the free downloadable templates and let's get started. The first thing you need to do is of course download and print the templates and you can find these in the description box um, the actual menu itself is printed on cardstock, and then there's also this extra sheet that has the uh, extra lunch menu and specials, and this is just printed on regular paper. So um, this is going to be extremely easy. Um, the hard part was designing this. If you have a paper cutter, that will do just fine. If not, you can use a ruler and X-Acto knife to get really straight edges as you cut. Um, as you can see up here, I have included cut guides on the template itself, so you can use this to cut it down to the correct size. I'm going to show you how to do it with a ruler and X-Acto knife, because uh, some people probably just don't have a paper cutter. So I thought it would be nice to just, you know, show you guys how to, how to do it without one. Before you do any cutting, uh, just fold the menu in half. You can see there's like a crease sort of designed into the template here. It looks like an old crease. That's where you're going to be folding. Okay, so now that you've got that folded in half, what you wanna do is just line up your ruler with the cut guides that I have on this template. And then you can just take your X-Acto knife and follow along the ruler to make a nice straight cut. You're probably gonna have to go over that a couple of times with your X-Acto knife just to make sure that you've gone through the whole thing since it is printed on cardstock and you are cutting basically two pages at the same time since we folded it in half. And there you go. The menu is done now. It's as easy as that. Just print it, fold it, and cut it, and you're done with the menu. So the next thing we want to do is put these little inserts into the menu. So you're also going to want to cut the white space from around these and I, there's no cut guides in here. You basically just cut to where the image is. So again, just line up your ruler and make your cuts. Once you're done, you should have these two pieces of paper cut out here, just small rectangles with the lunch menu and the specials. So we're going to put these into the menu and they're just gonna be kind of clipped on on the inside like this. And to do that, we're gonna use these Regal clips. You could just use regular paper clips, um, but I got these because I thought the shapes of these were actually really cool. They look pretty vintage and also almost kind of look like little owls, I guess, in a way. So yeah, I thought these were cool. So we're gonna use these to clip this in here. We're gonna put the specials on this side. And I almost forgot, before you actually put these in here, um, these are supposed to be, these are supposed to look like old pieces of paper, so, you can sort of crumble it up a little bit first and then uncrumble it, you know, make it look like it's been kind of used a lot and reused. We're gonna do that with both of them. And then you can take the lunch menu and clip it in somewhere off to the side or somewhere, basically anywhere you want, just to make it look like, um, yeah, if you were given this menu at lunchtime, they'd go ahead and clip the lunch menu in there and then the daily specials would be clipped on just like that. So that's it, that is the Leaky Cauldron menu. The front I kind of designed to make it look like gold foil, even though it's not. <laughs> um, if you have a way to gold foil that, that would be awesome. But uh, I don't quite know how to do that, um, or just don't know how to do it with the resources that I have right now. Let me know what you think. And also let me know what your favorite meal is in here. Like what, which one of these would you actually order if you went to the Leaky Cauldron? I've got to say that that lamb and Guinness stew is kind of calling my name. 
If you want a chance at winning the Leaky Cauldron menu that I made in this video today, there's a giveaway link in the description box below. Down there you're also going to find the uh, 55k giveaway, and that is for uh, Fred and George Weasley Pops, as well as the Weasley's Wizard Weezes catalog, and a professionally printed Weasley's Haunted Deck playing cards. If that's something you're interested in, the giveaway link's in the description box below. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.